to be the first CEO of a private corporation to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Unfortunately, my appearance today has been clouded by a flurry of speculation that my company is developing a weapon of mass destruction which would be capable of targeting specific ethnic groups. I want to address these allegations head on. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. <laughs> but with all due respect, yeah, it's the United crazy. Nations is a relic from a different time when nations were unique in their ability to solve the world's problems. But that just isn't the case anymore. Primarily because you have outsourced the job to me. I have sent people to die in your wars. So I feel uniquely qualified to tell you, your wars don't work. Which is why my priorities have changed from profits to policy. Because politicians don't know how to solve problems. But I do. So let's be clear. I am here to solve the world's problems. And I believe the world's problems begin with you. So what the hell was that? Couldn't tell you, mate. But it sounded an awful lot like Irons declaring war. We took out his WMDs without Manicor. Atlas didn't stand a chance. Cormac, you need to see this. Talk to me. We cracked the encryption on the last set of uploads. What am I looking at? Potential targets. I ain't had a fallback plan if Atlas was ever backed into a corner. The preemptive strike. He's gonna try to knock us out before the fight has even begun. Well, a direct attack on the US? Are we sure Irons is even up for that? So what's the play? No way Atlas can hit them all at once. San Francisco. The entire third fleet is in the bay. I need you two on the ground. Now. Hey, Ben Shank. I appreciate the follow, brother. Thank you, thank you. What do you got? It's Robinson. A smooth. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Just happy you enjoying the stream.
snap, where you come from? Where in the hell did he come from? Oh, you just chilling back there. Okay. You got your ass now. I just need to get a new weapon. Mm -hmm. okay. Just these hands. Oh damn, watch out my home. Oh, he's dead, baby. He's dead, baby. Oh, that's the cavalry. Nice. movement on TRP three and five. Confirm changes on the cargo ships. They're attacking the fleet. It'll be a massive. At ease, Lieutenant. How many assets do I still have active in the area? Scanning. Stand by. Connecting you now. All signal teams, radio check. Signal two two, radio check. Charlie Lima. Central 2-1, loud and clear. So what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Solid copy. 
Descend and hold position at the carrier. I'm en route. Jesus. Alice is trying to take control of the carrier's weapon systems. We need to get jammers on those rail guns and fire technicians some time. We've got enemy troops all over the carrier. They're gonna try and take the ship's bridge. Let's move. We won't let them get away with this. He came up behind me and beat my ass.
switch to night vision. Ooh, one nine nine. Contact! Clear him out! You know he did. Linking in. I need you to target for me, Mitchell. Get on that terminal. Right on. Target that cargo ship. Hold steady on the cargo ship, Mitchell. Good work, 
team. Copy that, Kingpin. Fucking hell. There's no turning back from this. What happens next? Next? Hines just murdered thousands of innocent people on U.S. soil. Next, we hunt them down. And we bury them. The world is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent, militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick. Well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. Fool, what the hell are you talking about? After San Francisco, the entire free world turned against Atlas. Irons entrenched himself at his headquarters in New Baghdad. All communications ceased. Both sides knew what was coming. Our mission was to fly in with the 37th Airborne during the initial shock and awe campaign. From there, we would break off and infiltrate the Atlas Command Center, taking out Irons. For Cormac, it was the end of a journey. He had been waiting five years for this day. Last minute change of plan. We'll be flanking around from the east and the north, covering blue team on their sortie over the target. Yes, sir. I guess I've got the soft option. There are no soft options on the table. I just don't want all my assets in play at once. We're only gonna have one shot at getting the bastard. That's all we'll need. I know it. Just stay alive. You're our star witness when we drag his ass in front of the Hague. Looking forward to it. All right, good luck. There was nothing more to say. We all knew what had to be done. This was the beginning of the end. For one of us. Let's get it, boys. Sentinel 2-1, approaching APC Romeo Victor North at Angels 5. Roger that. Maintain low-level flight from there to New Baghdad. Kingpin out. Sentinel flight. Fence in. Engage anything that doesn't have a Sentinel beacon. You can invert your flight pitch controls and motion. Three bandits ahead. 12 o'clock low. Time to start bumping heads. Okay. One down. Damn! Okay, you know what? How do I slow down? Oh, I think the B. Okay, I think the B button. Four birds merging in at 12 o'clock. Yeah, I really do need to work on my flying head. Mitchell, watch your weight. 
Hold on to those hard points and hit them with your missile. Yeah, a flyer. Copy zero one. Enemy air defense Ooh. perimeter in one point five clicks. Commencing drop sequence. Autopilot engaged. Pod deployment successful. Twelve hundred meters to target. Minimizing system power. Switching over to low detection. Copy all zero one. Your squad is off the radar. Connecting the heads up to the battlefield network. Our main target is Atlas Command Center, where Irons is directing the war effort from deep inside. Multiple MT turrets have been placed as air defenses around the city. We need to take them out in order to reach the command center. Distance to target 200 meters. Switch off heads up and prepare for touchdown. Thank goodness we're done with the flying. No, 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 we're gonna get back in there, hold on. Clear out those ASTs. We need to push through to Irons. 
Exactly. I ain't got no, I ain't got no grenades. That's ammo. Come here. Come here, Got my location? No. It's Manicor. We gotta pull back. Get everyone out! Why aren't we affected? Hines engineered it to be harmless to his own troops. The three of us must have been inoculated. And you, and you will, will see, see our enemies, enemies fall one by one. one. Each, Each and every, every one, one of you can, can be agents of change. change. <clears throat> yes, Excuse me. we will suffer losses. We will we suffer will setbacks. But, but make, make no, no mistake, mistake, we will win. The security that you desire, the security Damn. that you deserve, 
is within our grasp. But it can only be claimed if you are willing to fight for it. Got right up close to it. It was never something I welcomed, but with it comes serenity. A clarity that you'd never expect. You experience the present as the inevitable destination of every step you've taken towards it. And in that same moment, you see a different path stretch out in front of you. The path you could have taken at the first step. We are all on this road together. The good men who fight for wrong causes. And the corrupt men who cloak themselves in righteousness. Each one of them convinced they are on the side of the angels. But every journey has an end. And death can only be cheated for so long. We had thrown everything we had at Atlas and come up short. Now it was time to pay the price. Just like Anything it's the end of the line, differences. boys. <laughs> what is this place? It used to be a research lab. Looks like Iron's modified it since. Research for what? Medical advancements, something like that. Doesn't matter. It's a prison now. This is it. Only way we survive this is by keeping our heads. Wait for an opportunity. Everyone off the truck, now! Come on, get him off the truck. That's all of them. Ten coming open. These two, these ten, cool, get them going. <laughs> Into the cage. The rest of them, on the red line. Ten filling up. Pass the line. How'd you end up here? My air support was wiped out when Manico hit. I was outside the blast radius, but our squad was surrounded and outgunned. Is there a rescue force coming for us? Downtown is contaminated. We put out the city entirely. I don't think anybody's coming. Damn, y'all right, better, guys. hey, y'all better stop being rough, man. Move it. Here, now, get over here. Let's go. Start walking. All right, ten is up. Then to get back up. In line. Come on. Stop looking. Stop looking. Eyes forward. What are you Damn, doing? okay. Alright. Get on your door coming in. Roger that. C block up. Alright, people through here. Let's pick it up. Clear. C block locking down. Damn, they are literally in boxes, yo. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to get away. That's far enough. Get him on the floor. You didn't have to punch her like that though. Open. Wires out. Clear. Hook him up. Go. I sat down. Have a nice day. Ooh, just wait till I get out of here. Get away
I wanted to meet the man whose mission it was to kill me. Our mission was to stop you. <laughs> but if that meant killing you, I don't think anybody'd be too troubled. Failure is not something we tolerate here at Atlas, so I'm disturbed that three of my best contractors have failed so miserably. But that's the way it has to be. The wheat from the chaff, the strong from the weak. The ancient Spartans knew the true meaning of warfare. But that truth has been lost to us for two millennia. What of your son, Will? What was he? Wheat? A chaff. Will was the victim of the misguided policies of the United States government. Will died fighting for what he believed in. Of course, the tragedy is dying for what you believe in doesn't make it true. You bastard. You're not young, but you are strong, Cormac. So I give you 20 minutes to bleed out. Time enough to consider whether it was all worth it. And you. The prodigal son returns. Yeah, but if I knew you. Ooh. If I knew you was gonna be fucking insane, I wouldn't have took it. <laughs> You're nothing. Duh. There you go. There you go. Damn. Good shit. Yeah, whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Get him out of there. Can you walk? Stop, Irons. I'm done. Shut it. We're leaving. All of us. I've got him. Right, follow me. Stay quiet. I got your back. There you go. Look like his size. Grab his exosuit and sidearm. Here. With only one wing, you won't be reloading. So make every shot count and pick up new kit when you're empty. Ready. This looks like surface access. Ilona, this way. Oh man, I can't wait to get Mitchell, this bastard. Get on that console and get the door open. Hurry up. Drop your Freeze. weapon! Get down on the floor! You will open fire! Mitchell, get stay down. there! Drop him! What's happened? Doors locked. Stand back. Damn! Try to get topside. We'll find another way. Mitchell, let's move. Sector 
If I know Alona, she'll secure topside evac. Let's not keep her waiting. Manticore strikes. These launching missiles. Baghdad was just the beginning. Washington, New York, Los Angeles. Military targets all over the country. Launches in less than two hours. Fuck me. Oh, it's the same gun, okay. Stay calm, shut up. You read me. Shit. Come on. Doors locked. See if you can sequencing. Cleared. So this is Iron's vision for the future. He's insane. I'll be damned if we let him get away with this. Out of the way! Move! You, don't you fucking move. Get back or I'll shoot. Come on, get the door. Where is See. Manticore launching from? Where? The, the Atlas Command Center. In the city. There you go. The hatch, let's go. I don't know why you're asking me. That doesn't sound good. What the? Not good. We need a way out. Look. The bench under this car. Mitchell, help me. We've got to move this car. Push! Close. It was. Sunlight! We're almost out! We need to 
alert command about the Manticore launch. Gideon, it's Alona. I've secured a vehicle for Exfil. RV at the north wall. Good work. We're en route. Hurry! Cormac isn't doing well. Through here! Let's heal up! Let's go! There's enough Manticore here to hit every major military base in the world. We need to find Alona and Cormac. Let's move. Ready? Let's go! Move! Push to the chopper! Any station, this is Sentinel 2 1 in the blind. You copy? 2 1, this is Kingpin. We found it all. Now we lost you, soldier. Irons is planning a biological strike against major bases in the next two hours. Understood. Oh boy. Striking your position. Sending air assets to assist the next. Kingpin, you copy? Ah! Hold on. On your feet! Watch it! Still looks functional. Hit the manual punch out.
Pray we're not too late. Well, we got to stop him. Come on. Come on. Stay with me. We're almost there. Almost there. Damn. Almost there. It's not much further. Damn. Don't stop. Don't. Come on. Mm. Cormac. So what now? Now we finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. It's three of us. Against an army. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. Okay. You got any ideas? Just one. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Drones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. Sentinel 2 1. Still detecting high levels of contamination in the city. We will not be able to get ground forces to assist you. Over. Don't be that, Kingpin. Enemy forces are closing on your position. I see him. Mitchell, weapons free. Light him up. Enemies on the overpass! Rocket reloading. Game gun overheating. Cool down. 
Get ready. Stage three boosters check complete. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Mitchell, hang on. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. Are you receiving? Tuck, 
cut off. We need to move. They're gonna hit this building any minute. I'm setting you down. I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. I need to find some light. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exos! Come on, ammo! Wow, I knew that you was gonna happen. too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America, unleashing Manticore, killing thousands of innocent people? I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah, twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. Of this we'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Mitchell, try to hit the release on your exo. Now mine. It's not working. Oh, shit. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! Oh, yes. Don't let yes. Ice get away. We coming for that ass. Hurry, we please. coming for that ass. I'm gonna get you. Ooh, let's go. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah, come here. Mitchell, pull me up. I'm not letting go. You've got to pull me up. Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Mitchell! What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! Well, you know what? You can have it back. Finally got his ass. I've got you, mate. I've got you. It's only gonna end one way for him. He said, I gave you that arm. I was like, well, you can have it back. <laughs> Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. Yep, exactly. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning.